and they're ready to surrender. आईएनए के बागी फौजियों पर अंग्रेज देशद्रोह का मुकदमा चलाएंगे। उन तीनों के बचने के चांसेस कम हैं। ये कोई आम केस नहीं, कोर्ट मार्शल है। बोला भाई एक केस आप कांग्रेस के लिए नहीं, सुभाष बोस के लिए लड़ी। लुटेनेंट गोबाक सिंह डिलन, कैप्टन शाह नवाज खान, कैप्टन पी के सेगा, सेक्शन 41, वेजिंग वॉर अगेंस्ट द किंग you are charged with murder. Do you plead guilty to the charges read out? If there is a force to fight for the freedom of freedom, then its name is Azad Hind Fawj. The safety, honor, and welfare of your country comes first, always. British Indian Army hand you over to the Japanese Imperial Army. Hindustan and the Angrezes were broken down and broken. If something is up and down, the country will be a problem. Now, the people will not leave any English. Night and night, you will be able to stop the freedom of your country. The English officers have not been able to do our freedom. So, what can they be able to do our freedom? Today, the Hindustani force has its own real purpose. The freedom of Hindustan. You give me the blood. I will give you the freedom. ये मुकदमा पूरी इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी का है क्योंकि हमने वो दिन देखा है जब हमें ऐसा लगा था कि हमने हिंदुस्तान को वाकई आजाद कर दिया देश की आजादी की लड़ाई कोर्ट में लड़ी जा रही है और इस वक्त पूरा देश एक साथ तैनात है This trial and its judgment shall be remembered throughout history. Hello and welcome. I'm Amritan Shira and you're watching Law of the Land on Raj Sabha TV. Today we will discuss the Supreme Court judgment on acid attack victims. To discuss the issue, I have with me Aparna Bhatt, Advocate, Supreme Court, and Alok Dixit, activist working with Stop Acid Attacks campaign. And now for the highlights. Refusing to provide free treatment to acid attack victims by private and government hospitals may invite one-year imprisonment. The Apex Court has directed the state machineries to ban the sale of acid across the counter. The court also asked the state machineries to implement the provisions to grant minimum compensation of 3 lakh rupees to the victims. Refusal to provide free treatment to acid attack victims by private and government hospitals may invite an imprisonment. The Supreme Court, in a recent decision, has directed banning of sale of acid and has specified that free treatment means availability of medicines, food and bed in the concerned hospital. To ensure that there is no reluctance on the part of private hospitals to provide free medical treatment to the victims of acid attack, the Apex Court recorded that the concerned officers in the state governments should take up the matter with the private hospitals so that they begin to implement this social obligation. The court asked the governments to effectively implement the provision of granting compensation of minimum 3 lakh rupees. According to the judgment, provisional figures for 2014 showed that there were 282 acid attacks in all the states and 27 attacks in the Union territories. This is very good and at least from this reason, the victim will get treatment. Because before that, the private hospital did not give treatment and did not give treatment. Or they asked for a lot of money. So, this is because these people can get treatment at the time of the time. लेकिन इसके साथ साथ ये कि अभी बहुत सारे प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल में भी बर्न ट्रीटमेंट की सुविधाएं नहीं है या पूरी फैसिलिटी नहीं है 
प्राइवेट छोड़िए सरकारी हॉस्पिटल्स में नहीं है तो ख़ासतौर से जो एसिड अटैक के केस होते हैं वो छोटे शहरों में होते हैं और जहाँ पर छोटे शहरों में सुविधाएं नहीं होती है तो उनको वहाँ से बड़े शहरों में लाना पड़ता है A total of 309 acid attacks were reported across the country. Amongst these states, maximum attacks were reported in Uttar Pradesh with a total of 185 acid attack incidents. 53 acid attacks took place in Madhya Pradesh and 11 attacks were reported in Gujarat. Delhi is the only union territory where acid attacks were recorded. A total of 27 acid attacks were reported in Delhi in the year 2014. मेरा केस खुद 2004 में हुआ था और मैं मेरा केस यूपी में आता है तो 2013 के बाद जो केसेस हुए थे उनको कंपनसेशन मिल रहा था लेकिन जो पहले के थे सर्वाइवर उनको कंपनसेशन नहीं मिला था लेकिन फिर से हमने याचिका डाली उसकी वजह से आज ये है कि यूपी में जो पहले के केसेस थे उनको भी अब कम्पनसेशन के लिए काम किया जा रहा है और जल्द ही उन्हें कम्पनसेशन मिल जाएगा लेकिन अभी भी कुछ ऐसे जैसे कि दिल्ली में है बहुत सी ऐसी सर्वाइवर्स हैं जिनको कम्पनसेशन अभी वो तीन लाख रुपए भी नहीं मिला है The bench directed the Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to take up the matter of banning of sale of acid across the counter to the state and the union territory governments. The court directed all states and union territories to issue notifications regarding ban of acid sale across the counter at the earliest. The Supreme Court judgment directing private hospitals to ensure free medical treatment to the acid attack victims is welcomed by the survivors and their families. The survivors also hope that some measures are taken for their employment as they are denied work due to their injuries. With cameraman Om Prakash, Dipali Pandit for Rajya Sabha Television. According to statistics, the majority of victims are women and are attacked over domestic or land disputes, a rejected marriage proposal or spurned sexual advance. I'll get you in um, up and down on this. See, hospitals. First of all, there are not enough hospitals in the hinterland beyond urban areas. Second, expecting the private hospitals to provide free treatment is expecting a private entity to take up a social obligation do you see it <laughs> happening and how long do you think will it take for the private hospitals to actually start taking up th this responsibility if at all see when the case was filed at that time we had asked during the course of arguments when i was arguing i basically said that provide some kind of an insurance scheme medical insurance scheme which the government takes up and then the private hospitals will be obliged to honor the insurance during the course of the arguments basically what happened was when mha was called in to devise a mechanism mha <coughs> is was, ministry of homes home affairs hmm. and when there's an, <coughs> there's also a section in the um, uh, crpc when the amendment had come which which said that you will not deny treatment mm -hmm. hospitals will not deny treatment one wanted to explore to what extent does it mean immediate treatment does it mean long term treatment of taking advantage of that section the mha said now every private corporation is obliged to allocate some resources towards corporate social responsibility so the csr funds essentially that they have that why can't they use that to provide treatment for acid victims so this was the rationale behind the mha's affidavit So when they filed this affidavit, on that basis, the court accepted this argument, and then they said, "Okay, private hospitals will now be obliged to provide free treatment to acid victims, which includes not just treatment, but not just corrective surgeries. It includes food, medicine, and everything else. It does include, obviously, anything which is free. Private hospitals will take it. Will I mean, sorry, will not take it easily. It will take a. It will take a while for them to be compelled, and that is why the state measure is important." the judgment also said the state governments will make sure that there are mechanisms created for the private hospitals to comply with it unfortunately the state governments have not done complied done done those mechanisms they are not in place yet till such time that those that is not in place yet compelling hospitals to do what they are supposed to do under the judgment it becomes a more of a kind of an advocacy mm. so when there's a, somebody is in a position of power or in a position of influence to advocate for a cause of a victim then the hospitals will be obliged to pay 
So, <laughs> I know that Apollo Hospital had provided treatment for a couple of acid victims, but it had to, somebody at a higher level from the government had to get involved, had to pursue the So there has the to be some care. sort of a persuasion happening. Exactly. But if there is a, if there is a mechanism the state government creates, I mean, I, I don't, we don't have to teach the state governments about how to create a mechanism. Supreme Court has led the way. It's now for them to take a cue and bring in some kind of a notification, rule, executive order, whatever they want to do. It's up to them to do that. And, and on that basis, hospitals will be then obliged to provide the treatment. And yeah, as you said, I mean, as you were in your mm. previous thing that we're saying, unless there's a deterrent, mm -hmm. unless there is some kind of a punitive measure element involved for any, in any negative response in the hospital, They'll not do it. We actually got it from 375C <laughs> and the implication of it, 166. Yeah. In this, so we dragged it out specially to make sure that exactly. it was placed there. Exactly. That in case you refuse, this is what you risk. It can happen to you, yeah. It can happen to you. My, uh, CSR bit, the judgment does not record. It does not record. It was but Why do you think it was uh, overlooked? If, it, if that was it, why? I mean, why should the... Court tell a private corporation that you, you spend your CSR like this. Ah. It's up to them. If they want to justify it, it's, it's really up to them. But the rationale of the Home Ministry when we had the discussion was this. Was this. Because in, in the sense that obviously a private body tomorrow can challenge the process by saying that how can you compel us to provide free treatment. We're not obliged to provide free treatment. But the fact is they have to devote. Now how they're doing CSR is something, I mean in fact I was Their quite choice. happy. Correct, correct, correct. But we don't know how they're doing CSR. But the government prescribes a list. I mean and that is what yeah. uh, is the exemption but what, list. But what is the monitoring of CSR honestly? But Somebody that's... is kind of doing a fake CSR, you, there's really no monitoring. So I'm, I was quite happy that at least acid victims get some support and I mean it's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, to get you in, uh, <coughs> government inaction, the entire matter in this uh, acid attack thing the, it's the judiciary that has been leading the way. You feel that there is a lack of initiative on part of the government. Essentially, it's the duty of the government to lead. But it's the judiciary which is leading in this matter. So, how do you think the government should take it further on, as far as implementation is concerned? देखिए इसके लिए मैं तो यही बोलूंगा कि जो अपर्णा जी ने पीआईएल फाइल की थी सिर्फ वही एक पीआईएल है जिसकी वजह से आज जितने सारे रूल आपको दिख रहे हैं वो इस पीआईएल की वजह से बने अब प्रॉब्लम ये है कि चूंकि सिविल सोसाइटी कोई सपोर्ट नहीं है वहां से कोई वॉइस नहीं है उस तरह की कि एक गवर्नमेंट पे कोई प्रेशर नहीं है तो आखिर में क्या होता है कि अभी अपर्णा जी बेहतर बता सकती हैं कि किस तरीके से ईयर बाई ईयर इन्होंने बार बार सुप्रीम कोर्ट के ऑर्डर आते हैं आप ऐसा कर लीजिए ऐसा कर लीजिए मैं मैंशन कर रहा था कि जो लॉ कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया की रिपोर्ट थी वो सारी बात कह रही थी दो में और उसको आते आते 2013 अब 2015 लग गया और अभी भी ये सारा इम्प्लीमेंटेशन नहीं हो पाया है तो मेरे ख्याल से यहाँ प्रॉब्लम ये है कि शायद या स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मतलब जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स के ऊपर बार 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 ये सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट छोड़ दे रही थी कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नहीं कर रहे हैं और आखिर में ये हो रहा था कि इसका नुकसान उस सर्वाइवर को भुगतना पड़ रहा था जो दो से सर्वाइवर बन दो से लगातार बहुत सारे केसेज हैं आज तक हमारे पास कोई डेटा नहीं है हमारे पास ऑफिशियल डेटा दो का है जिसमें तीन केसेज हैं पर उसके पहले का कोई डेटा नहीं है कोई रिकॉर्ड नहीं है उसके पहले के सर्वाइवर्स की हालत बहुत ख़राब है और अब जब 2015 में सब ऑर्डर्स फाइनल हो रहे हैं वहाँ पर भी यही प्रॉब्लम आ रही है कि आज भी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में प्रॉब्लम है जैसे स्टेट्स के पास ये लिस्ट ही नहीं है कि कितने ऐसे हॉस्पिटल हैं जिनके पास बर्न ट्रीटमेंट करने के लिए फैसिलिटी है कम से कम एक लिस्ट हो दूसरा कि अगर एसिड अटैक हो जाता है तो कंपनसेसन तो बहुत बहुत समय बाद मिल पाता है और ट्रीटमेंट के लिए हर एक सर्वाइवर को आखिर में दिल्ली आना पड़ता है दिल्ली मुंबई बड़े शहरों में आना पड़ता है और वहाँ पे भी बहुत लिमिटेड हॉस्पिटल हैं जैसे जैसे आपने बताया कि अपोलो हॉस्पिटल अभी एक ट्रीटमेंट का केवल अकेला अपोलो हॉस्पिटल है जिसके ऊपर सारा प्रेशर है कि वो ट्रीटमेंट करें और वो भी तब करता है जब कोई अथॉरिटी फ़ोन करती है जब हम उनके उनके ऊपर प्रेशर करते हैं वरना ऐसा कोई मैकेनिज़म ही नहीं बना कि एक सर्वाइवर और उस सर्वाइवर को उस स्टेज तक आते आते कई बार बहुत सारे लोग दम तोड़ देते हैं अभी दो केसेज डेली में एडमिट हैं अपोलो हॉस्पिटल में ही दोनों की आँखें आँखें चली गई मतलब क्योंकि पी में पंद्रह दिन लग गए बीस दिन लग गए उनके पास ट्रीटमेंट अवेलेबल नहीं था उनको दिल्ली भेजने में मतलब पटना मेडिकल कॉलेज हॉस्पिटल और वहाँ लेकिन उसमें तो रिकॉर्डेड ही नहीं है 2014 में तो एक भी केस नहीं तो हुआ इस पे तो अलग से एक सवाल है ना ये तो एक अलग सवाल है कि जो केसेस ऑफ एसिड अटैक्स है इनकी सही रिपोर्ट अब तक भेजी नहीं गई मतलब रिकॉर्डिंग में भी प्रॉब्लम है रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ एसिड बिल्कुल केरला में नौ केसेस हुए हैं दो में हमारे पास एफ की कॉपी है और सिर्फ तीन केसेस दिखाए गए हैं तो ये भी एक प्रॉब्लम है पर मैं ऐसे बता रहा हूँ कि इसको इतना वक्त लग जाता है कि मैं दो केसेस अभी रिसेंटली इनका एग्जांपल दे रहा हूँ कि उन दोनों की आंखें चली गई 
और वो पटना तक ठीक थे वहाँ से यहाँ आते 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 मतलब उन, उनकी दोनों आँखें आई साइट अब उसके लिए कौन जिम्मेदार होगा तो यही है कि दो में ही वो सारी बातें हो जाती है में ही एक्सेप्ट किया था कोर्ट ने कि एसिड अटैक्स के केसेस राइज हैं मतलब बढ़ रहे हैं ये बात तभी एक्सेप्ट की गई थी 2009 तक आते आते बहुत सारी डिटेलिंग हो गई थी इसके बारे में हमें पता है कि 2000 सन 2000 में कितने केसेस हुए थे तो मतलब तब से लेकर के आज तक ये सिर्फ कोर्ट के बीच में चल रहा है आ, कोर्ट बार बार पुश कर रहा है जब आ, जब ये इसको बैन करने की बात थी तब भी कोर्ट एक इस लेवल तक आ गया और सरकार की तरफ से कहीं ना कहीं बार बार एक बहाना है एक बार बार वो स्टेट पर छोड़ दे रहे हैं या फिर ये बोल दे रहे हैं कि अभी टाइम लगेगा समझ गया मैं टाइम नाउ फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक कमिंग अप द फर्स्ट हॉस्पिटल वेयर द विक्टिम इज एडमिटेड विल हैव टू इशू अ सर्टिफिकेट कंफर्मिंग एसिड अटैक द सर्टिफिकेट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर परसुइंग कंस्ट्रक्टिव सर्जरीज इन द लेटर स्टेज वेलकम बैक द बेंच डायरेक्टेड हॉस्पिटल्स वेयर द विक्टिम इज ट्रीटेड फर्स्ट to issue a certificate which certifies that individual was an acid attack victim the certificate can be utilized for treatment reconstructive surgeries or any other scheme to which the victim is entitled to the law clearly prescribes what action must be taken by hospitals in private and government sectors It also specifies punishment for hospitals who refuse treatment to the acid attack victims. But the implementation of these provisions is weak as the private hospitals refuse victims on one pretext or the other. Now after the judgment of the Supreme Court, there is little ambiguity left as to what needs to be done. अपने छत्ते पर सो रहे थे उसी रात्रि में जो हम लोग के ऊपर भी गए ये सब ये तीजा एसिड तो वो लोग हम लोग रोने चिल्लाने लगे अब उसी समय मेरे आदमी गए अपना गाड़ी ले आए वहाँ से आप हम लोग गए आरा हॉस्पिटल सदर हॉस्पिटल एक बोलता है आरा में वहाँ पर गए वो आप लोग वो लोग दवाया वहाँ लगाए सुइयाँ दी हम लोग का कोई पानी वानी नहीं चढ़ाया सुई उई दे दिए और कहे कि अब चले जाए आपने पटना पी में वहाँ से रेफर कर दिया हम लोग पटना आए पटना आए तो कुछ ही लोग दवा हुआ किए हम लोग एक महीना वहाँ पर रहे एक महीना के बाद कुछ आँख का प्रॉब्लम हुआ तो वो लोग कहे कि आप यहाँ से अपोलो को रेफर कर दिया तो हम लोग आए यहाँ पर आए तो यहाँ पर कुछ नहीं ले रहे थे तो हम लोग आगे बढ़े गाड़ी बढ़ा आगा तो आधा एक डेढ़ घंटा के बाद वे लोग फिर फिर भी अपना फ़ोन किए कि आइए एक सीट खाली है हम लोग एडमिट कर लेंगे The Supreme Court has issued directions to the authorities for compliance. The states and union territories will have to ensure that treatment and payment of compensation to acid attack victim is implemented. The states and union territories must use necessary means to make sure that private hospitals comply in giving free treatment. No hospital or clinic would refuse treatment citing lack of specialized facilities. First aid will be administered to victims after stabilization. The victim should be shifted to specialized facilities if required. Action against hospital or clinic will be taken if they refuse to treat victims of acid attack. तो जरूरत ये कि हर हॉस्पिटल चाहे वो प्राइवेट हो या गवर्नमेंट का हॉस्पिटल हो उसको जो है इक्विप होना चाहिए ट्रीटमेंट के लिए उसके यहाँ जो बर्न डिपार्टमेंट ज़्यादा सक्षम होना चाहिए और नोटिफिकेशन यही कहता है कि हर हॉस्पिटल को इला, सिर्फ इलाज मना ही नहीं करना है बल्कि उसको अपने यहाँ संपन्न भी होना साधनों के साथ ताकि विक्टिम को सही वक्त पर सही इलाज मिल सके In the issue related to setting up of a criminal injuries compensation board the bench held that multiplicity of authorities should not be done They quoted that district legal services authority is already there to provide assistance relating to acid attack victims therefore another body is not required The Supreme Court verdict is being looked at as a good step for the benefit of acid attack survivors but the proper implementation of the judgment still remains a big question patients are still refused treatment quoting lack of facilities with cameraman om prakash dipali pandit for rajya sabha television statistics also suggest that attackers often target the head and face to maim disfigure and blind leaving the victims with lifelong physical 
and psychological scars. I'll get you on this, Aparna. Uh, there is no word or no explanation about old survivors. So the judgment comes into force from a certain date. There is amb complete ambiguity what happens to the old survivors. So there have been several of them. Most of them not recorded. Second problem, recording of acid attack uh, cases. How big a problem is that? You see, when, On both um, the sides. See, um, yeah, as the, to answer your first question, yeah, this was the biggest, uh, I would say, um, failure of the case that I argued. In that sense, it didn't really specifically address old victims. But honestly, it doesn't exclude also. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say old victims should not get the benefit. Correct, correct. correct. So why should, I mean, it's so, we have to interpret and push our uh, case in that way, saying that the sense has, has not excluded. Mm -hmm. All acid victims should be entitled to. To come back to your other question about recording, you know, till this Supreme Court uh, case came up and uh, government finally amended IP penal code, and when penal code got amended, then a specific case of acid attack was introduced as a separate offence. Mm -hmm. Cases were registered under 326, which is grievous hurt, <coughs> or in the Lakshmi's case, it was attempt to murder. Mm -hmm. So in those cases, how would you know it's an acid victim? Mm. So anybody who's doing research in this should look at all cases of grievous hurt and all cases of attempt to murder and then see if it was actually a case of acid attack or not. And that is why the recording has become a problem. Mm. So that I mean, so post amendment, cases get registered under 326 A and B. Mm -hmm. Then obviously because of those registration, you know it's an acid attack case. Before I come to you, also, yeah. since you are the legal, you are the person who actually pursued the whole matter, okay. 3 lakhs, is it the maximum compensation or is that just the initial minimum compensation? There is a lot of confusion. <coughs> the, government, the government seems to have taken this amount as not as a relief amount, but as the ultimate, the final compensation that has to be given. So there is ambiguity that needs to be clarified. You see, the judgment was very clear. The order, it, it, see, it, 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 there was really no judgment in that. So uh, it's multiple, a direction. It was multiple order. orders mm. passed, about six or seven yeah, yeah, order yeah, yeah. passed. Yeah, yeah. But somebody has to collate them. Anyway, mm. coming back mm. to your question, as far as this three lakhs is concerned, the order very clearly says that, that in the interim, we think it's appropriate if you pay 3 lakhs as compensation. It does not stop any government from giving more. There is a word minimum the courts have yeah, used. Exactly. Minimum amount should, should be, be 3 lakhs. Much. Yes. So there is no, it's not for the states, the states can give more if they have to. Haryana is giving. I mean, that's what, in, in fact, mm -hmm. I should say that when, I mean, I, it's not correct to say that no government has taken action. Mm -hmm. Haryana has led the way. Now, I'm not getting into the field thing about implementation. I mean, that's a completely different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. But Haryana led the way. Haryana was the first state in that sense to actually say that we will give 100% treatment to victims. So the, and then it did not confine itself to government hospitals. Mm -hmm. It gave a list of hospitals where treatment will be available. Mm -hmm. And it had come before Supreme Court judgment. It was on after. Mm -hmm. so, that, so it is not correct to say there's no state government took action. Mm -hmm. Karnataka had offered 2 lakhs much before. Mm -hmm. so there was a notification issued by Karnataka government. They had already done some things. So many, Punjab had done a lot of things. So it's not as if to say the state governments had not done. The biggest hurdle actually in this case was the union government, not the state governments. No, why, why we say the governments have not done is because a lot needs to be done. Yeah. So a little is not enough. It's not so enough that is all, why yeah. to push the government, our purpose is to push the governments to do more and more because this is one segment which really needs the attention of the government. It does need, That's attention. The purpose. It, it does need attention. And I, as I was always arguing and continue to argue is, in a case of acid attack, there is no ambiguity. You know, in a case of any other kind of a crime, which is happening in, I mean, people say that there are two sides to mm. it. May have happened, may not have happened. Acid victim is, I mean, it, it, she's there in your face to see. Correct, correct. If you correct. can't identify and can't empathize, mm. it is ridiculous. Mm. And that is what we were telling the government repeatedly. That, you know, this is, it's, it's not as if that you cannot understand her pain. She has been attacked. What she was, why she got an act, it's totally irrelevant. The fact is she, re she needs treatment. And yeah. it took a long time for the car I mean, the government honestly had, will, did acknowledge this problem only when the court pushed them to do it, not yeah. otherwise. Yeah. So. Uh, recording of acid attack <laughs> cases, what is the problem? 
आखिर एफआईआर या फिर पुलिस जो है उसको रिकॉर्ड करने में क्या आपत्ति है उसको क्या प्रॉब्लम है वो तो एकदम सामने नजर आ रहा है क्या कंप्लेनेंट नहीं कंप्लेन करते क्या पुलिस उसमें प्रोएक्टिव है ग्राउंड लेवल पे असलियत में प्रॉब्लम क्या है ये ग्राउंड लेवल की बात करेंगे तो सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम मेरे ख्याल से जो क्राइम के साथ भी है और एसिड क्राइम के साथ मैंने विशेष तौर पर देखा है कि जो भी अटैकर है वो आपका नोन है मतलब आप आ, उस आपका जानने वाला है तमाम बार परिवार के ही मेंबर्स ऐसे अटैक करते हैं मेरे मेरी टीम में रूपा है उसकी स्टेप मदर ने उस पर ऐसे अटैक किया और बाद में पूरी फैमिली के प्रेशर से वो आज भी अपना केस नहीं लड़ रही है तो वो रिकॉर्ड नहीं हुआ कभी भी और उस वो बहुत सिवियरली बर्न हुई लेकिन चूँकि उसकी स्टेप मदर ने ऐसे अटैक किया था बाद में उसको फैमिली का प्रेशर हुआ और नहीं किया ऐसे एक दूसरा केस भी है जो आगरा में हमारी टीम में काम करती है उन उनके हस्बैंड ने उन पर ऐसे डाला था और उनकी बेटी एक बेटी की डेथ भी हो गई एक बेटी की आंखें चली गई और वो आज भी अपने हस्बैंड के साथ रहती हैं क्यों क्योंकि मतलब आपको लग रहा है कि जैसे 498 टाइप का जो एक है कि उसमें नहीं 498 नहीं डावरी एक्ट में जो और भी समाज को एक मौका दिया गया है केस करने का फाइल करने का वो प्रोविजन इसमें भी लाया जाना चाहिए देखिए मैं इसको ऐसे नहीं देखता हूं मैं इसको ऐसे देखता हूं कि अगर इस तरह के केसेस में चूंकि इस तरह के केसेस में अधिकतर आप छुपा नहीं सकते इसमें हॉस्पिटल्स इन्वॉल्व हो जाते हैं उसका ट्रीटमेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है बहुत बार मैं कहूंगा कि अब अब की स्थिति में रिकॉर्डिंग होने लग गई है अभी जो डेटा हमारे पास सही नहीं आ रहे हैं उसकी उसकी वजह स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स हो सकती है उसकी वजह कंप्लेनेंट भी हो सकती है बिल्कुल और बहुत बार मैंने बोला कि ये जो केसेस हैं जो भी एक एसिड के क्राइम हो रहे हैं आपका नोन आदमी मतलब हमारे जो अपना हमारा इसीलिए कंप्लेन करने में बहुत बार बहुत बार हिचक होती है बहुत बार कंप्लेन नहीं करते हैं तो ये एक वजह है मूविंग ऑन माई कॉलीग डिपाली पंडित स्पोक टू लक्ष्मी एन एसिड अटैक सर्वाइवर an activist to get her point of view so how will this judgment help the acid attack victims uh dekhe abhi jo supreme court ne orders diye hai uske according jaise kaha unhone ki private hospital mein leke ja sakte hain aur acche se treatment karwa sakte hain wo ho raha hai to ye kafi jo jo government ne abhi supreme court ne jo jo kaha hai wo abhi follow ho raha hai do you think the supreme court judgment on acid attacks is being implemented well देखिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट अपना ऑर्डर सुना रहे हैं लेकिन उसके बाद गवर्नमेंट का जो काम है वो उनको करना चाहिए तो जितने फास्ट काम होना चाहिए उस उतना फास्ट हो नहीं रहा है तो ये बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि फास्ट काम किया जाए थैंक यू मैम एंड थैंक यू सर फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन दिस डिस्कशन इट्स टाइम फॉर अस टू एंड द शो यू कैन ईमेल योर सजेशंस एंड कमेंट्स टू लॉ डॉट आई आर एस टी वी एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच आर शोज ऑन दी आर एस टी वी पेज ऑफ यू ट्यूब वील बी बैक विद न्यू इशू एंड न्यू एपिसोड कीप वॉचिंग